racing action. So put on your hard hats and roll your cameras. It's side-by-side -side racing coming up next. This is Trucks and Tractor Power, featuring the all-stars of TNT's Monster Truck Challenge. Welcome to Trucks and Tractor Power on the Nashville Network. Today, we're just outside Albany in upstate New York for Monster Truck Competition. Hi, everybody. I'm Gary Lee alongside Army Armstrong, and this is the yearly Northeastern Tour for the Monsters. This is the one big time that the Monsters roll into the valley in Northeast New York, and these people are pumped up. They normally get to see some tremendous racing of all kinds. As a matter of fact, Gary, this facility was voted track of the year a few years ago by the racers themselves. But only once a year do the Monsters roll into the valley this is that time. Well, this weekend at the West Lebanon Speedway, it appears to be a shootout between Bigfoot and the Equalizer. Well, it looks that way because they're battling each other at the top of this thing, but down at the bottom, you've got some other guys that could come in and be players. One of them may just take this away, Gary. Shootout begins momentarily. Stay with us. In the upstate New York countryside, there is plenty of this. This is original horsepower. But tonight at the Lebanon Valley Speedway, we have thousands and thousands of horsepower. Monster truck variety going side by side. We have concluded qualifying. We are ready for first round competition. There is a look at Steve Wilkie in the USA One. This will be Chevrolet against Chevrolet as he will go up against Scott Stevens in the Auto Value King Crunch. And we have a radio hookup in the cab of that truck. Army, can you talk to Scott? If you lose, you want to Scott, this is Army Armstrong again. Uh, playing a little mind games out there with this guy? Hello, oh, Army. Uh, having a little bit of trouble. The throttle don't feel right. Give me a simple yes or no. Are you playing mind games with the USA One? No, we got problems. You can watch Steve Wilkie psyching up in the background. Kevin, the throttle isn't working. He's talking to Kevin Ford, the crew chief. There is Steve Wilkie psyching up. You're back to 100%, Scott? Yeah. All right, Kevin Ford rides away on the scooter. He makes the adjustment to the throttle linkage. Gary. Did you all monitor Ford's correspondence? He said everything is back to 100%. Army, we did hear that, so now we're ready for Chevrolet against Chevrolet, but it's been a long time staging, and Steve Wilkie has been over there in the cab psyching up. All right, round one competition. The track is a quick track. It's a fast track. We got two fast trucks. Whoa, look at this. That's only the first race of the night, and these people are pumped. Wilkie takes a very important win. Well, that guarantees that USA One will be in round two, but with this 13-truck race format, the fast loser from round one will advance, so Scott Stevens could well be in the second round. Gary, as a replay comes up, you notice what happened to Stevens at the end of the track? It hooked right violently. We're going to have to keep an eye on that situation. That could cause a problem later in the night. More round one competition, Mopar Magic and Equalizer. Equalizer, right side of the camera. He's going against the Mopar Magic, one of the few Chrysler-powered monster trucks on the circuit. And Gary Wiggins can really be a player, but he's not consistent. He makes the horsepower. He's trying to get the chassis ironed out. Meanwhile, Holbrook, just rookies, hooked up with Gary Cook out of Tennessee, and they started off at the top of the pile, and they refused to come off the point. They're still looking good wherever they go, Gary. Almost immediately. Greg Holbrook has the advantage. He will take what I would consider to be an easy victory yep. here. And he didn't have any problem in the shutdown area. His suspension kept the truck straight. Well, of course, he has the suspension. He also has the horsepower. He has them both working together, and he takes the victory. Greg Holbrook will advance. Let's go on a visit with Greg, Army. Greg, an 8.16, and it looked quick, but we got two guys that are already running under that eight-second bracket. Yeah, they've been running real fast. I could take it easy at the time. Gary didn't have it just two-wheel drive. He up the front drive shaft out in qualifying, so I took it a little easy that time. So everything is go? I mean, you're just kind of backpedaling right now? Yeah, we're just taking it easy on the truck and wait until we have to get on it before we do. He never seems to get too excited, does he? No, this kid, if he had been born 100 years ago, would have been a great gunslinger, Gary. 
the Thunder Chicken and the Buffalo Tremor. I love these names. I'd like to talk to these drivers and owners about how they came up with some of these names. Kid Rarig and John Kwasniewski. Rearing out of Pennsylvania. Kwasniewski out of New York at half track. It's a dead even race. The Thunder Chicken, the yellow Chevrolet of Kid Rarig will advance. The Thunder Chicken wins, knocking out the Buffalo Tremor. Let's look again, coming right at you. And notice, if you will, the truck on the left has a lower center of gravity. And obviously, in all types of motorsports, that is advantageous. Here's your winner. If you follow muscle truck racing, you're familiar with the name Thunder Chicken and Kid Rearing. Now, a lot of people don't really recognize him as a winner, but you've been knocking off some really heavy metal trucks the last couple of weeks. You're definitely for real. Are you trying to sneak into this thing? I want to do it real bad, yeah. The truck is running great. You're driving, I believe, harder than I've ever seen you drive, kid. I just worked on the transmission to get it shift a little quicker, sooner, uh, and I think it's helping. You're definitely going to be a player tonight. Good luck to you. Okay. Coming up next, well, the Pony Express with a uh, slight modification to the front doghouse. Well, yeah, you know, and it's really strange. That is a Mustang body. Used to monster trucks, you're used to seeing truck bodies, but Tony comes out with a Mustang body. Pair of Fords. This is Mike Wine, the Jersey Outlaw against the Pony Express. Round one competition here in upstate New York. This outlaw team of Mike Wine and Nick Ross here definitely going to be hard nosed ball player before this sport comes to an end. Look at this. He, look at this. He's in it. He's oh, in hang it. on, He's hang on. on. Brings her back. And the key is there, when it gets up on two wheels, to keep your foot in the throttle, allow the four-wheel drive to pull the truck out of trouble. Exactly. That's exactly what Mike did. Your natural instinct is to hit the brake. That's the worst thing to do, Gary. How many drivers would do exactly that? Get out of the throttle, touch the brake, and that truck would roll on over. The Jersey Outlaw team just a couple of weeks ago, Army picked up a national sponsor in Super Winch, and as you well know in motorsports, money equates to horsepower. They used all that horsepower this evening, and look at this, he keeps it from rolling on over. Hang on, Mike. Let's go talk to your winner, Mike Wine. It's a classic case where horsepower got him into trouble, but he got him out of trouble also. Mike, a little two-wheeling out there, almost high-siding out there that time. It's the first time I ever almost went over on a passenger side. On a driver's side, you can see and watch and power out of it. I almost power out of it too late. Thank God we got a 1,000-horsepower motor to help me. An enthusiastic crowd awaiting round two. We're coming back. Stay with us.